Welcome back to the video series on Math Revision Made Meticulous Topic 3-Dimensional Geometry Equation of a Plane Revision, as the name suggests, means looking back over previous learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. Five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The step in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Let us first see the equation of a plane in normal form. Normal is always talks about a perpendicular line. Let us see the vector form. The vector equation of a plane whose perpendicular distance from the origin is d and vector n is the unit vector normal to the plane. Normal means perpendicular to the plane is given by r dot n is equal to d. Here in the left hand side vector r is the position vector of any general point xi plus yj plus zk and this vector n is a unit vector. You should be very careful. This vector is a unit vector is equal to small d which is the <coughs> perpendicular distance from the origin perpendicular distance of the plane from the origin if you want to write it in the cartesian form then we will have the perpendicular distance as d and the direction cosines of the vector normal to the plane remember whenever we want that vector to be a unit vector we will take it as the direction cosines then only l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 then it is given as Lx plus My plus Nz is equal to D. Here be careful in this format. L, M, N are such that they are direction cosine. Not only that L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. Then that vector N is a unit vector. Let us move on to the question on finding the vector equation of a plane. Question number 1. <coughs> Find the vector equation of a plane which is at a distance of 8 units from the origin and which is normal to the vector 2a plus j plus 2k. Whenever the distance from the origin is given, we have to use the normal form. Which is the normal form? The vector equation of a plane whose perpendicular distance from the origin is d and vector n is the unit vector normal to the plane is given by r dot n is equal to d. Here be careful, d on the right hand side is the perpendicular distance from the origin which is already given in the question as d is equal to 8. But the vector n which is there or dot vector n that vector n should be a unit vector. Therefore, the vector which is given here a normal vector given is not a unit vector. How to convert a vector into unit vector divide by its magnitude. Therefore, the unit vector normal to the plane or the unit normal vector whatever you call is given by the given vector by its magnitude therefore 2a plus j plus 2k by magnitude of it what's the magnitude of it it is square root of 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square therefore it is 2a plus j plus 2k by root 9 which is 3 therefore now we are ready with the vector n which is a unit vector now put it as r dot n that's all that is the answer for r dot 2a plus j plus 2k upon 3 is equal to 8 let us move on to the next question. In the previous question, we were given the distance d and a vector which is normal. We converted it into a normal vector. Then we put it in the form r dot n is equal to d. Let us go to the next question where reduce the equation. A equation is given to normal form. What is the meaning of normal form? When you convert it into the normal form, you can get the right hand side number which is coming as a constant on the right hand side will be the distance from the origin. For they want you to reduce it to the normal form and hence find the length of the perpendicular from the origin. Very simple. Now this is the vector equation. Now the left hand side 3i minus 4j plus 12k to be converted into a unit vector. How to do it? Just divide it by the magnitude. How? What is the magnitude of it? 3 square plus minus 4 square plus 12 square which is square root of 9 plus 16 plus 144 square root of 169 which is 13 for divide the both the sides by 13 it will become r dot 3i minus 4j plus 12k by 13 is equal to 7 by 13 now it is of the form r dot n is equal to d automatically the number which is on the right hand side 7 by 13 is the perpendicular from the origin to the plane is 7 by 13 
very simple r dot n is equal to d is the form now let us go to the next form equation of a plane passing through a given point and simply normal to a given vector previously it was perpendicular distance was given and a unit normal was given here it is the equation of a plane passing through a point and normal to a given vector vector form is vector equation of a plane passing through a fixed point with position vector a and normal to a given vector n here remember in the previous one we took that vector n as a unit vector here the, this here it is not a unit vector it is a normal vector of vector n for vector r minus vector a dot n is equal to 0 here in the left hand side vector r is the vector <coughs> position vector of a general point that is xi plus oj plus zk then vector a is the position vector of the point it may be x1i plus y1j plus z1k then the vector n is a normal vector what is the meaning of normal vector it is a vector perpendicular to the plane suppose if you are taking it in cartesian form the point will be x1 y1 z1 and the normal vector whatever the components they are nothing but the direction ratios remember the here we are talking about direction ratios normal to the vector whose direction ratios are a b c a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus e into z minus z1 is equal to 0 now when you collect all x co components a x plus b y plus c z and all the constants that is a x1 b y1 plus c z minus c z1 if you collect all of them it will become plus d is equal to 0 therefore whenever you are talking about the cartesian form you will get a linear equation in three variable ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 therefore any linear equation in three variable they represent a plane in our two dimension we have seen any linear equation in two variable will represent a straight line and any linear equation in three variable represent a plane therefore here be careful already we have seen lx plus my plus nz is equal to d there lmn were direction cosines that the d on the right hand side was the perpendicular distance from the origin but here it is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 where abc are the direction ratios now you should remember how to convert a vector equation into cartesian and cartesian equation into vector Here you are seeing r dot of i minus 2j plus 3k is equal to 7. Of you are seeing over here that i minus 2j plus 3k is a perpendicular vector, is a point vector, and is equal to 7. Is on the right hand side. Okay. For i minus 2j plus 3k, from there we will get the coefficient of x, y, and z. Therefore, the normal vector is i minus 2j plus 3k. Therefore, the direction ratios are 1 minus 2, 3. i component j component and k component then how to form the equation now it is very simple x minus 2y plus 3z ax plus by plus cz is equal to 7 now sometime this 7 may be kept in the left hand side or on the right hand side now suppose if it is there in the vector form it will be written as r dot i minus 2j plus 3k minus 7 is equal to 0 when you want to write it in cartesian form it is x minus 2y plus 3z minus 7 is equal to 0 therefore please try to understand how to convert a vector equation into cartesian form and cartesian into vector form the coefficient of x y z will give you the normal vector now let us now go to several forms are there to get the equation of a plane let us find the equation of a plane passing through three given points so three given points will be there in the question how to do it first you construct the equation of a plane using a first point already we have seen in the previous slide a into x minus o, x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 then again use the second point then again replace x y z by x2 y2 z2 you will get the second equation in abc use the third point you will get the third equation in abc a into x3 minus x1 plus b into y3 minus y1 plus c into z3 minus z1 is equal to 0 now what we have done here we have <coughs> obtain three equation in abc okay then it is the equation of the plane is obtained by eliminating abc now then how to eliminate that abc you have to use this three cross section determinant first row will be x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 
third and the so again and the third row will be from the coefficient of a b c from some equation 2 and the 3 you are seeing in the previous slide okay anyway let us now take a problem so that it will be easy for you let us now move on to the question for finding the equation of the plane passing through three point given points here sometimes they may give you four points they will ask you to prove that all the four points are coplanar for that also you have to take eight first any three points out of the four get the equation of the plane then after that put the fourth point and check whether it's at this getting satisfied well now three points are given i take the first point equation of the plane passing through 2 2 minus 1 is a into x minus 2 b into y minus 2 plus c into z plus 1 a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to 0 now take the sec second point 3 4 2 and put it here therefore a into 3 minus 2 b into 4 minus 2 plus c into z 2 plus 1 is equal to 0 for you got this equation a plus 2b plus 3c is equal to 0 again repeat the plane is passing through 7 0 6 a into 7 minus 2 plus b into 0 minus 2 plus c into 6 plus 1 is equal to 0 you got this third equation in abc that is 5a minus 2b plus 7c is equal to 0 now we got three equation now a into x minus 2 b into y minus 2 plus c into z plus 1 1a plus 2b plus 3c and 5a minus 2b plus 7c now all the coefficients of a b c you put it in the three cross the determinant and equate it to zero x minus 2 y minus 2 z plus 1 1 2 3 and 5 minus 2 7 expand it x minus 2 into a 2 cross to determinant minus of y minus 2 into a 2 cross to determinant plus z plus 1 into a 2 cross to determinant obtained by removing the row and the column in which that particular element lies x minus 2 into 14 plus 6 minus y minus 2 into 7 minus 15 plus z plus 1 into minus 2 minus 10 for you got 20x plus 8y minus 12 is said, constants are added up and you got it as 20x plus 8y minus 12 is said, minus 68 is equal to 0. Now uh, this question can be little bit simplified by dividing throughout by 4. If possible you can do otherwise you can leave it as it is. Therefore here we have found how to find the equation of a plane passing through 3 points by getting 3 equations in ABC and in eliminating them using determinant method. Let us move on to the next question. Question number 4. Find the equation of the plane passing through the point and normal to the line passing through the line joining the points. Here one point is given and something about a uh, normal given. For always remember whenever you are talking about a normal then we have to find the direction ratios of the normal. That will give you the coefficient of x, y, z. Then one more constant is there d in the equation that can be eliminated by giving another clue given in the question. Therefore, this is the equation ax plus by plus c z plus d is equal to 0. What are a, b, c? They are the direction ratios of the normal. Here what is the normal given? The normal is a line passing through the line passing through the point joining line joining the point normal to the line passing through joining. Okay. 3, 4 minus 1 and 2 minus 1, 5. For how to find the direction ratios? It is x1, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. For 2 minus 3, minus 1 minus 4, 5 minus or minus 1. Therefore, it is minus 1, minus 5, 6. Therefore, we got the direction ratios of the normal now. Now, how to construct the equation now? It is ax plus by plus c is, at, is, is equal to 0. Where here a is minus 1, b is minus 5 and c is 6. For I construct the equation now minus x minus 5y plus 6 is said is plus d is equal to 0. Normally you can do the problem directly but it is customary to keep the first coefficient as positive before I am writing it as x plus 5y minus 6 is minus d is equal to 0. Now how to eliminate the d for that a point is given the plane is passing through 3 minus 3 1 put it there in the equation 3 plus 5 into minus 3 minus 6 into 1 minus d is equal to 0 you got d is equal to minus 18. If you put d is equal to minus 18 in the previous equation, you will get the equation of the plane is x plus 5y minus 6z plus 18 is equal to 0. Therefore, to construct the equation of a plane, we need ABC. What are ABC? They are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane. 
let's move on to the question number 5 find the angles at which the normal vector to the plane is inclined to the coordinate axis you know what do you mean by the angles inclined they are nothing but the direction cosines cos of alpha cos beta cos gamma let us now take this equation now the given equation is 4x plus 8y plus 1 z is equal to 5 what are these 4 8 1 they are nothing but the direction ratios how to convert the direction ratios into direction cosines divide by 4 upon square root of 4 square plus 8 square plus 1 square again 8 upon 4 square square root of 4 square plus 8 square plus 1 square again 1 upon square root of 4 square plus 8 square plus 1 square therefore it will become 4 by 9 8 by 9 and 1 by 9 root 81 root 81 root 81 but what are these 4 by 9 8 by 9 and 1 by 9 they are the direction cosines they are nothing but cos alpha cos beta cos gamma for what will happen to the angles cos inverse of 4 by 9 cos inverse of 8 by 9 and cos inverse of 1 by 9 success is it dependent on any first all the best and thank you